You know, healing from being a narcissistic family scapegoat is probably one of the most confusing, difficult, but liberating things at the same time. The reason why it's confusing is because it's one of those situations where if somebody hasn't been through it, then they won't truly understand, which goes into the frustration because when you first going through the situation, you become isolated because you realize that everybody such as your family, maybe even your partner and your partner's family is against you. And if you're like somebody that's not self-aware, if you hear that from somebody like me who has been through this specific situation of being a family scapegoat, you would think the person is being dramatic. But waking up to it, you literally reveal that you have been a target your whole life by the people who's supposed to care about you. On top of that, like I said, waking up, who you wanna go to? You'd be lucky if you have somebody around you who's self-aware. And the reason why I say it's liberating or dope is because everything that like has been happening to you over the years or the lies or the manipulation or the gaslighting the he say she say the the problems that you might have had between your brothers and sisters which was triangulation between your narcissistic parent or the triangulation and toxicity between you and maybe some of your cousins maybe your aunts your uncles the lies that were said about you not only that the pain on the inside see Growing up, I was always super depressed. I always felt like I had a cloud in my head to the point where at times I, I couldn't even work. Like I still went to work, but I physically felt like I couldn't work because I was just so upset mentally. And I used to think like, dang, I'm just gonna be depressed for the rest of my life. And my family would just say, oh, that's just how we are. We deal with depression. We deal with anxiety, X, Y, and Z. But as I started working on myself, as I started going to therapy, as I started to, um, watch videos that alleviated how I felt about myself um, based off of how the people around me were making me feel because they hated themselves and they were projecting onto me. And this whole time, like growing up, I always had like this um, certain level of confidence, you know what I'm saying? But then I will always scrutinize myself and I always, every once in a while, judge myself, you know what I'm saying? You know what they say about that inner critic. Um, and I realized that that inner critic actually came from the people that was around me throwing little shots at me. So I was starting to internalize what they were saying about me. And even though that's why I would isolate myself and create content and create YouTube videos and stuff like that, because being around people, especially growing up for me, I didn't have no social media. So I was indulged in everything I was doing. So I didn't have nobody to judge myself based off of. So subconsciously, as a young person, like six, seven, I just knew that my family was off. So I isolate myself and make YouTube videos and make music. You know, I woke up at 25 and I'm happy that I did. But I always wonder, like, dang, how far would I be if I didn't have these individuals around me trying to bring me down the whole time?